Hey folks, Kyle here, uh, Backcountry Adventure Motorsports. And you know, I haven't done really any videos yet of me and my bike. I've been done a lot of Instagram posts and and some and Facebook posts, stuff like that, but I haven't done any videos yet of my bike. And I, I, I wanna get into that because um, ultimately this is kinda where I wanna be with this, this, this thing. So um, for those of you who know, I drive a Honda 2016 Honda Africa Twin and it's the manual version not the DTC so far I'm I'm loving it uh, I've got about oh uh, about, right about 700 miles on it just about to do the first service on it I know the book says 600 but I was on a long trip and I, I went over so I'm, I think I'm, at, I'm actually about 675 miles I'm gonna do a service on it and that'll be one actually one of my next videos um, but I just wanted to go over and talk about a couple of things that I've done to it so far and some things that I have on order. Um, really ultimately, I haven't done too much except you notice that I got some different tires on it, the stock tires. They were a little more street than what I wanted. And sorry if the sun is getting in there. It's early in the morning right now. I just got off of a graveyard shift and I thought you know, I'd go ahead and start making this video. But anyway, back to the tires. Uh, I put some Shinkos on there, the 804s and 805s, and so far I like them. I, I've had them on there since about uh, I think 90 miles on the bike, and so I've got about 600 on there now. And I really like the way they handle. They handle good on the highway and, and off-road. They handle really well too, and I've been in some pretty gnarly stuff with it um, over in Eastern Oregon, and it seemed to hold up really well so far. So. We'll see how it goes on, you know, when, once we get some more miles on it. But uh, other than that, um, I've got a giant loop tank bag. Um, looks like it just is made for the bike. It works perfectly. Um, it look, you know, look, the lines work perfectly with that. Uh, it doesn't get in the way at all. This is the Fandango. Um, seems to seems to work really good. Like I said, doesn't get in the way when you stand up on the bike. Um, um, and it's just it's just an all-around awesome awesome piece good thing to add um, it's completely waterproof comes with waterproof tank bag or a bag on the inside that and this flap here is adjustable I also have uh, the straps that they make you got a 20 inch and a 24 inch or 18 inch and a 20 inch I mean but they're uh, they're really nice I mean they're great for strapping stuff down to the the tail bag the tail bag, tail rack here and that's actually made by tour tech it's one of the first accessories i got anybody who has this bike right now you know that most accessories are back ordered and um luckily that i got it before that was on back order so can't wait to get the rest in i've got uh the crash the lower and upper crash bars those are supposedly supposed to ship next week and I also got the, um, the panty racks on it on its way. They should hopefully be here by the first of the month. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, and my panniers that I went with are also giant loop. And these are really cool. They are the round the world panniers. They are supposed to go on to the racks that I have on order. Obviously these will sit differently. But Yeah, uh, so these are supposed to sit about Oh, about there. So, and what's nice about these is you get 90 liters here. And uh, again, fully waterproof. And I mean, these, these things are just massive. They go on to the Tourtech racks or any other uh, rack. And you have your water, fully waterproof bag on the inside. Again, these are waterproof as well. It's just kind of a double layer. So you can take them in and out. You know when you're going into the campground or going into the hotel or whatever you may be but just super nice and uh, you can store you know like a water gallon of water here or even a fuel bottle um, same thing with the back another waterproof pouch here they can go you, you can put just you know tool bags or anything there and then there's even a pocket here for when it comes together that you can put in you know maps or just easy to grab stuff um shoes whatever you wanted to grab make make it easy to grab but yeah I and mean, that's just a real quick thing on those i'll do another video on those once i get my racks in but uh 
super excited about all that stuff. Um, you know, I'm just really antsy waiting to get that stuff in. Uh, let's see. Other than that, you know, I think that kind of covers it. Um, the video is really for today, besides just kind of introducing myself and kind of showing you what I have on here so far, is I got in the mail last night, right before I went to work, my Hemp Cohen Becker handguard racks. Now, these things just look gnarly. And from the pictures when I ordered them, I didn't realize they were so so beefy and I didn't I thought maybe they just kind of went on to the bar end and then went in to the handlebar but they actually mount to the triple tree which is crazy I mean that's gonna support the bar and everything um, but I'm gonna mount these up and if you guys can bear with me we'll do it together and show you how it looks like it's pretty simple so let me get my stuff together and we'll get it going all right so get everything together get my tank bag removed you know, I remembered another thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, the Honda center stand there. Um, man, I got that in the mail last week and I thought that was gonna be kind of a encompassing install, but you know, it took like five minutes. It's really, really easy. There was uh, um, not, I mean, no really necessarily tools that were even really required. Um, it's got some little mounting brackets underneath that it just slides into and um, you know, it's got the spring there. And you can see this little sir clip here. It just goes up and over and then you put the clip on and then these springs and that connects to right here. I mean, the, the springs were a little bit of a bugger getting on, but I used a ratchet strap actually because I don't have the spring tool. Um, of all the tools I have, I don't have a spring tool. But other than that, I mean, it, it went on literally within about five minutes and it really makes the bike stable when it's on stand, I mean, I can just shake it and I can stand on it. It doesn't move at all. And it's gonna make good for um, tire changes. My very first day that I had these new tires on, I, <laughs> I went up in the woods riding and I picked up like a hundred year old nail. In the middle of the woods, I, this, this nail got in my tire and I got, I got a flat. So uh, that kind of ruined my trip because I know I didn't even, you know, like the dork that I am I didn't even have a toolkit with me I was expecting just to go out and ride for a few hours then come back and didn't, didn't really expect to have any issues on a brand new bike and plus I was just too excited and didn't really pack like I normally do but anyway so I, I got that all fixed and everything but this should help prevent any, for any uh, future issues well hey let's get started on um, these these uh, hand guard bars here um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these little covers and I'm just gonna do that with a little screwdriver. Had that one off already, so it was fairly easy. But uh, anyway, like I said, I'm I'm really new to this whole video blogging thing, but. Uh, I really want to kind of get into it just because I've got guys like, you know, Tyler from Everide and Hermit the, the, the Vlog and Colorado Dual Sport. All those guys have been following for years and I thought, you know, hey, this would be something just to kind of get into, kind of a side hobby, you know, and uh, so they've kind of motivated me a little bit to, to get into this. So we're going to take a stab at it, but, you know, I also want to do you know some product reviews and things like that on this bike just because it's it's this bike seems to be some kind of kind of popular right now with with everyone and uh so if i can help anybody who hasn't done anything with these bikes yet and that doesn't go there uh then you know hopefully whatever whatever i'm doing will make their lives easier so i got a eight millimeter on there right now i think i need to get a seven so I was wrong, it's an eight. Like I said, I'd come off a graveyard shift right now. So I'm a little out of it, but it looks like we're just gonna take these off. Anyway, as I was saying, those, uh, I would like to call them stars. I've been doing this video blog and stuff a lot in the adventure bike world. You know, I watch those guys quite a bit and I feel like 
Hey, if they can do it, maybe I can halfway do it and and produce some kind of video that can help somebody else. So, you know, when it comes to this this bike, at least there isn't a whole lot of whole lot out there for it. You know, it's it's a new it's a new bike. So, looks like there's a little bit of a clip there. All right, so what I've done is uh, went ahead and pulled the bar end all the way out. And the directions say to do that, and I'm assuming it's because the, uh, the weight of the guard here will end up kind of replacing that weight on the inside. So that's that. Got that out of the way. And now... Be something about like that. So I'll go ahead and I'll remove the two bolts here. And those are six, number six. And I'll talk about it again towards the end, but you'll make sure you get all this stuff torqued back down to specs because the last thing you want is things to be moving around when you're riding. Alrighty. So these are you're gonna set right inside there. And then this bad boy is already notched out. And that's going to thread right into the end there. They did a good job of pairing all this stuff together. Just going to get it somewhat snug for now. Not too tight at all, but just enough to kind of hold it in place while I get the others in, in there. So now the next thing for the bar clamps, they give you some extra, some longer, some longer bolts. Now I don't know if they're going to be long enough if I were to do maybe like a one inch riser or spacer, but you know I can cross that bridge and I get to it and just replace the bolts. But slide in just like that and that gives a real nice clean look I think when it's all said and done and these are fives And I'll torque all this stuff down afterwards, but you can see that that man that really forms with that real nicely. And you, I mean, I've already had the bike down just real soft once, so that'll protect that. And uh, yeah, man, I mean that that's going to be some beefy protection. What I like about it too is since it bolts here and here, it almost it almost um, creates this like triangular effect where it's going to even though even though these bars are beefy and massive as they are I think it's even going to support the bars even more so um, it should protect it even more when it when, if you do lay the bike down I mean hey you know it's gonna happen I don't care how good a rider you are the bike is gonna go down so um, you know this way at least we're at least just prepared for a little bit better but um, yeah so you just repeat the same thing on the other side and that's that um, thanks for hanging with me through it and it's probably kind of brutal and hard to watch but um you know thanks for you know hanging out with me and, and and getting this done 
Um, more videos to come. Like I said, I got the Tour Tech lower and upper crash bars on the way along with the um, tail racks and or luggage racks. So um, stay tuned. I'll be posting more out.